Some really cheap Harbor Freight flashlights. Are they worth buying? All right, guys, so uh, if you guys missed the uh, Quantum flashlight, head over to the main channel, check that out. Um, this is the second flashlight uh, that we're going to be reviewing, or actually two for that matter, but um, looking for like budget-friendly lights that get the job done, and you know, I, I've been looking into it with the EDC bags and all the EDC stuff. If you guys like these videos, hit the like button, uh, comment down below, let us know you're liking this content. Uh, we'll try and get some more up for you guys. If you don't, let us know. We'll try and get some other content geared towards uh, that direction, whatever you're looking for. So, um, yeah, so we're looking for something a little smaller to go into the uh, EDC bags. Um, we basically have almost everything we need to complete those bags, and those videos will be up shortly. Um, and I wanted to try something a little smaller um, that will actually fit in the bag, uh, again, a more budget-friendly version. You know, we'll try and do like a budget-friendly and then a high-end. So, um, very standard flashlights, nothing crazy. These are $3 from Harbor Freight. You actually see the, they have their logo on there. So, again, nothing crazy. These are probably the cheapest flashlights you can get a hold of. Um, once again, we're going with the Cree LED light on the inside. These are aluminum body with some knurling on it, so you have some uh, grip on there. These are nice. They have the little lanyard on there, which uh, a lot of the other flashlights don't come with. So we'll unscrew this. you see you have a little O-ring on there. So these are going to be perfect for, you know, on the side of the road or, you know, something where you really don't want to have, like, a really high-end flashlight or something like that. And you don't care if these get damaged and whatnot. So that's the purpose of uh, buying these. So if you look on the inside, there are three um, AAA batteries and a little sleeve arrow on there. The arrow is going to point towards the bulb section. On the inside, nothing to it at all. Again, these are just cheap run-of-the-mill flashlights. You can find them anywhere. Nothing crazy at all. The red one is completely identical. We don't have to go through that. And, um, yeah, so, as you can see, very intense light for a $3, it, technically it's a $1.50 flashlight because, um, you know, there's two in a pack for $3. So, let's kill the main light and take a look at this. So, very small beam that is non-adjustable at all. Um, it does give plenty of light output, so we can compare this to the, um, we have the quantum light here. So this is just on eco mode, and you can still see the little dot from this flashlight on there. So again, this is much more intense into one little section. We'll turn that one off, and you have much more intensity in the center of the light. It does have a small flood feature, definitely not as good as the quantum light. Let's uh, turn our lights back on. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely not as intense or as good of a light as the Quantum Light is. This is probably going to be like my number one pick for a while because of the price. Again, it's only 13 bucks. But um, again, if you guys haven't seen that video, head over to the main channel. Check that one out. Um, but for $1.50, again, just a cheap light just to have all over the place. Uh, if, you're, if you're in the need of multiple flashlights and don't want to spend a ton of money, I could definitely recommend these for you. You know, I'll probably pick up another pack of these um, just to have them for, you know, throughout the house purposes. Um, I'll store a couple of these with some extra batteries, the AAA batteries and whatnot, um, just to have light in case of uh, power outage or anything like that. Again, I have these style lights in my tool bags and, you know, in my truck and uh, my work truck, my personal vehicle, all that good stuff. Uh, just to have light, you never know when you need a flashlight. And... Again, if you're not that crazy into them, um, you know, where you can justify spending $100 or $200 on a flashlight, go with these. It's a perfect option. If you want to upgrade slightly, I would go with the Quantum. Uh, it's a little nicer of a light. It's a little more durable. They're both aluminum construction, but, uh, yeah, lightweight, easy to use. You know, all flashlights are easy to use, right? I mean, whatever. Three AAA batteries. You can't go wrong. They'll last forever. The light output is good enough. And $1.50, you can't go wrong. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Let us know if you guys enjoy this content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. Take care.